There are four steps in mentorship. The first one is defining your goals. The second one is choosing a suitable mentor. And then the third one is aligning your goals with your mentor. And lastly, measuring your success with your mentor. Hi guys, welcome to Career and Corporate Hub. Nadine and Difikodani Sajwayo. So today's topic, we're only going to focus on the first two steps on your mentorship journey defining your goals and choosing a mentor. So it is important that you define your goals first before you go seek for help because uh, you don't want somebody to define your goals for you. You want to be responsible for your own growth and for your own development. So the reason why you should start with defining your goals, it is because your goals should be aligned with yourself. It should be what you want. If you start with getting a mentor, your mentor can, yes, your mentor can help you define your goals, but is it what you are looking for? Uh, it's the same as when somebody wants to go for counseling and um, you push them to go for counseling. If they're not ready, like the counseling is not going to work. So that's why your mentorship journey should be more for your personal growth hence you have to start by defining your your goals and it is quite important that you understand your purpose if your goal is to become a manager one day then your mentor should be somebody that is already a manager because that person will help you how to get to a managerial position looking at the path they took or they can advise you what to avoid defining your goals can also be triggered by the feedback that you've been given from different people for an example uh people say you are shy right and you want to overcome your shyness you want to um, boost your confidence what you do you define those goals and you look for somebody that is confident somebody that is um not shy and you ask them to be your mentor hold on not us what i also like is to start with an informal session it uh just to ask like um so i want to grow in this area like what do you advise i see you are very good at this and that and i'm struggling you know um and listen to their feedback listen to how the response is and also how you can connect to their feedback if you connect and you are happy with that feedback and it can also help you grow so that will be a trigger that this person can be your mentor so that's how you can also choose um, your mentor choosing a mentor can be very tricky you should also choose somebody that is not like you choosing somebody like you would be seeking for validation for an example, if you are somebody that snaps a lot in meetings and you want to overcome the snapping in meetings and you go choose somebody that also snaps in meetings, that person won't see anything wrong with uh, snapping in meetings. So if you go and um, ask for support in overcoming snapping in meetings, mm -hmm. you are asking from somebody that also snaps. The advice can be, I don't see anything wrong with you snapping. I mean, some situations force you to snap. But if then your mentor is different from you, it is somebody that does not snap, then their feedback or their response could be, this is how you can handle the situation better. So it is quite important that you choose a mentor that you connect with also because you don't want those mentorship sessions to be awkward as well a lot of people are also scared of being judged so they can't really open up to their mentor but in order for you to get a uh, proper feedback on where you can improve you have to open up so look for a mentor that will give you that comfort to open up if you can't connect with a mentor that you've chosen you can always choose another mentor. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why I prefer to start with an informal mentorship because that will help me to determine whether I want to continue 
with this mentor or choose a different mentor and i don't even announce it that this is a mentorship session no i just start by asking questions and sometimes when somebody gives you feedback you can follow up to say hey you said um, i need to improve in this area can you please help me with that and that's how you can start your informal mentorship and transition into formal mentorship and by transitioning you can even ask after that when you're comfortable and you can see that you connect with that person that can you please be my mentor and the reason why i want to i want you to be my mentor is because you've been helping me in uh, growing in this area and it has been very helpful a lot so that's how you can start your mentorship it's important that we seek for mentorship because it can help us to fast track our growth i mean why struggle when there's somebody that's already uh, gone through the same path or there's somebody that is at a certain position where you aspire to be so don't struggle alone seek for mentorship build a community around you you don't necessarily need one mentor you can have multiple mentors depending on the areas where you want to grow please comment down below on your mentorship journey and also comment whether you believe in mentorship or you don't believe in mentorship thank you so much for watching bye bye